Due to its excellent properties, mild steel has become a sought-after material in many industries. It has unparalleled weldability and machinability, which has led to an exponential increase in its usage. In this video, we will discuss the importance of mild steel, its uses and how it's made. Welcome to James Sword Research Channel. Watch till the end for better understanding, and if you find the video useful, like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel, and turn on notification for more content. What is mild steel? A mild steel is a type of carbon steel with a low amount of carbon, which enhances the properties of pure iron. It is also known as low carbon steel. The carbon content varies, depending on the requirements of the steel and it is in the range of 0.05% to 0.25%. Mild steel is not an alloy steel, and therefore does not contain large amounts of other element besides iron. You will not find vast amount of molybdenum, chromium or other alloying elements in mild steel. The low carbon content means that mild steel is typically more ductile, machinable, and weldable than high carbon and other steel. It can be cut, machined and formed into intricate shapes, without adding proportional stresses to the workpiece. However, it also means that it is almost impossible to harden and strengthen through heating and quenching. It has lower tensile strength, compared to high carbon steel and alloy steel. This is because of its very little carbon and other alloying elements, to block dislocation in its crystal structure. This lack of alloying elements, such as those found in stainless steel, means that the iron in mild steel is subject to rust, if not properly coated. It is the affordability, weldability, and machinability that makes it such a popular choice for consumer. How is mild steel manufactured? The manufacturing processes of mild steel is similar to that of other carbon steels. In modern manufacturing processes, Three major steps are involved in producing mild steel out of pure iron or iron ore. They are 1. Primary steelmaking process. Once the coal and iron ore are extracted from the earth, they are mixed together and heated in a blast furnace. Modern primary steelmaking uses modern furnaces such as basic oxygen furnace or electric arc furnace. The second step is the secondary steelmaking process. Once the steel is melted, the mixture is moved to another furnace to burn off any impurities they may contain. The purpose of secondary steelmaking is to mainly reduce the carbon contents to the desired extent and add other alloying elements to improve the properties of the steel. Manipulating the furnace conditions, such as the temperature, cooling rate etc. also aid this process. 3. Casting and primary forming process. Once the steel has attained the specific carbon content, and mechanical properties that enhances its performance, the molten steel is poured into a mold and allowed to solidify. This slab of mild steel is then brought down to the desired shape and size using the process of hot rolling or cold drawing etc. Applications of mild steel. Mild steel is widely used in industries. It is the most common type of metal use around us. Typical examples of where it is used in the world include as structural steel in construction and infrastructure, in machinery, used in manufacturing machine accessory, used to produce cooking wares, in pipelines manufacturing and automobile industry, used in fencing, wire manufacturing, as signpost etc.